Hey guys, my name is Liz and welcome back to the Liz in Her World of Books. Um, sorry for sounding a bit congested. I con contracted COVID a couple of weeks ago and even though I've now tested negative finally, um, I'm still suffering from like the cough and the congested nose. But yeah, I wanted to do a two-part of my latest book haul. It's been a while since I've done that, so quite a few books have accumulated. So that's why I'm gonna do a two-parter. And one of the books that I bought, because it sounds so interesting, is This Is Pleasure. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep coughing throughout this video. Um, by Mary Gateskill. So this is a Me Too story, basically. Um, a really famous... Um, literary critic in New York uh, is accused of sexually harassing and I think even raping a woman and it's about how um, his closest friends deal with that, especially a, a female friend of his um, and I find that such an interesting premise because I think it's really difficult when you know and love somebody but you also want to like believe women <coughs> um, how you deal with um, when a close friend of yours is accused of something like that. So I think this is going to be a really interesting dive into a story like that. Um, and it's going to be an interesting perspective. And it's a really thin book, so that's always a plus. Uh, the next two books I <coughs> bought because of a short story collection called Who's Loving You, which was edited by um, Sarita Domingo and um, she and another author called Sarah Jafari um, both contributed uh, short stories uh, to this short story collection. I loved their short stories so I went ahead and bought two of their um, one book for each author. So the first is Sarita Domingo's <coughs> <coughs> again sorry <coughs> if I don't have you um, so this is about an Afro-Brazilian filmmaker called Ren. He um, was portrayed, betrayed romantically and he's sort of still recovering from that. And he meets Kayla who's a black British artist and journalist. And um, they are um, thrown together because she has to interview him for, for her newspaper, I think. And they're immediately drawn together. And um, I think it's about how you deal with dealing like being attracted to a really famous person who is sort of guarded it's gonna be a nice rom-com i think um and i can't wait to um delve into this one um the one by sarah jafari the mismatch is a really different story um so this is a story about saraya who falls in love with magnus who's the complete opposite of her um, he is this really popular outgoing person she's really shy she's never been even kissed and uh, they fall in love and um, she sort of sets her eyes on him it's like I want him to be my first kiss and he ends up being her first love and it's about that but it's also about her parents and how their uh, marriage is going after having to uh, flee from Iran and never, never really dealing with, with um, having to flee from Iran and yeah, I think it's going to be a really great story because her short story in the short story collection was by far my favorite. She, her characters just came to life. I really fell in love with them. And so this is why I'm really excited about this one. The next book is a completely different one. It's a dystopian novel. It's, <coughs> <coughs> it's called How High We Go in the Dark. Uh, by Sequoia Nagamatsu, I hope I haven't butchered um, the author's name. Um, I think he's from Japan. Yeah, he's a, Jap a Japanese American writer. Um, so, this deal deals with the fallout from the climate catastrophe. Um, so, because of the permafrost sort of defrosting, um, researchers in 2030 have found uh, the corpse of this girl who died of this virus and by unearthing that corpse they unleash that virus on the world which kills millions of people and it's about the fallout from that um, and I think this uh, is a bit like the cloud atlas like it, it delves into the story of like a hundred years um, and but that's the starting point of the story and I think it's gonna be really interesting. Um, the next book is <coughs> 
Not a Nation of Immigrants by Roxanne Dunbar Ortiz. I read her book, um, The Inofficial History of Indigenous America, or something like that. I'm so bad with names and that sort of thing. Um, an Indigenous People's History of the United States. <clears throat> which was such a fantastic book and um, she uh, deals in this book with the myth of the United States being a nation of immigrants because she says it's not, <coughs> it, she says it's a, um, a settler colonialism state um, which is supremacist, it's white supremacist and um, she delves into this myth of the United States being a nation of immigrants and why that's not the case, but why this is like such a strong notion. So I already know that I'm, I'm gonna love this book because she is an amazing writer and yeah, it's a really, a really important perspective. The next book is again completely different um, <laughs> and it's Magpie by Elizabeth Day. So this is a thriller. And it's about this young couple called Jake and Marissa. And they have Lodger called Kate. And Marissa has this really weird feeling that Kate has been in the house before, like she knows the place really well. And that she somehow wants something from her life and that she's not gonna stop to get it. Like she's not gonna, um, yeah, she's just gonna take whatever she wants to take and nothing can stop her. Uh, it's supposed to be really good, really creepy, and I think sometimes you need a book like that. And the cover is gorgeous, like, let's just be honest. <laughs> uh, the next book is on my July TBR, and it's the A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. This is the collector's edition. I just couldn't resist. I mean, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> um, so I've seen this obviously all over TikTok, all over um, Instagram. Uh, this series has been beloved for so many years. Um, it's about Feyre. She um, is an impoverished human living um, next to the realm of Faze, who uh, used to torture um, humans until some sort of settlement was reached. And uh, she takes care of her dad and her two sisters because she's this really um, uh, talented huntress. And um, one day she encounters a wolf in uh, the forest and she shoots him uh, because she was about to eat the uh, dough that she wanted to eat for her, like um, catch for her family. And by killing that wolf, she. Uh, takes on the wrath of the fae because he was apparently a fae wolf um, and yeah this is like a five part series I think and I've seen this all over my Instagram because one day I came across this reel with like this beautiful fan art I liked it now Instagram is not stopping and like showing me constantly this beautiful fan art I was like okay I'll give it in I'm finally gonna read this um, so I'm gonna read this in July. I've already started a little bit. I already started reading the first couple of chapters and it's really enticing. So not regretting that and I've already ordered I think the next three books in the series. Oops. Um, the next book um, I'm currently reading actually and that's The Atlas Six by Olivia Plague. Um, so this is, uh, I'm currently reading is I'm like halfway through. I still don't know if I'm loving it or not, um, but it's definitely an interesting premise. So this is uh, about the Library of Alexandria, which actually never really burned down, um, but is just hidden from few. And every every ten years, they take on six apprentices. But what they don't know, like the apprentices don't know, is at the end of the year, one of them has to die, and um, yeah, each one of them brings. A certain set of magic with them like one is an empath he can control the emotions of the people around him two are uh, <coughs> physicians I think they're called um, they can uh, sort of control anything that's material um, but also air and time um, and one has the ability to see 
the world as it is. Like he can view the world with a very clear eye, like he sees magic in a way that other people can't. Um, then one is uh, a telepath. Um, she is really skilled at reading other people's thoughts. And one is an animator. Um, she is uh, she has the ability to make things, natural things grow, but also to give power to other people. And it's about how these people work together and what secrets they have. And yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the first book of this trilogy ends. Um, if you want to know, watch my June uh, wrap up. And last but not least for this video at least is My Monticello by Jocelyn Nicole Johnson. Uh, this is a short story collection um, and I think it deals with race um, and the racist past of the United States in a couple of short, short stories. I love short stories, I think they're brilliant and yeah, can't wait to delve into this one. So yeah, that's part one of my book haul. Let me know if you've read any of these. Again, sorry for the coughing and the congested nose, but it is what it is. And I will see you soon. Bye.